dice and invade out. Hey, what's up, you guys? Your girl Sheeta here with Big Faces and Joe the Scholar. What up, though? You can check me out on YouTube at Joe the Scholar or on Instagram at Joe the Scholar. Check me out on Instagram at B Jones underscore Big Faces. You now in tune with Block Report 101. So you guys, where are you both originally from? From Detroit. We both from Detroit. I'm from the West Side, School Crab Robinson area. You hear that in all my songs. East Side all day. Really, I'm from everywhere. I've been East Side, West Side, all over the place, man. Name it. I've probably been there, lived there. How long have you guys been doing music? See, I'm an OG. I've been doing this since I was a kid. <laughs> Shit, same here, you know. Shit, I started writing shit down, you feel me, when I was 14 years old. Started recording for myself, you know. Producing. Been recording for myself for a minute now, you know. Six years. Hottest I producer making, in Detroit. Feel me? I got money on it. Yeah. Hottest producer in Detroit. Do rapping to lyrics, all that. Record everything, do everything myself. I rarely go to other studios. Okay, who do y'all feel like is your music influence with rapper? I started off going to rap because of Tupac. Man, my brother, my big brother, he the one that got me in the rap, Cash Belly. Shout out Cash Belly. Stunning Ball. Instagram, look him up at Stunning Ball. At Stunning Ball. That man, he got me. Yeah, got I got money on him too. Rap. I got money. He don't make beats. I got money on his beats. I got money on um, Cash Belly flow all day. This homie right here. It's SOB it's champs. It's you know, they call themselves champs for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Alright. If you was to lose. So where do you guys see yourself in five years? See, I'm gonna probably be the leader of a revolution, you know? Or one of the leaders of, of a revolution. Yeah, I can say the same. And he gonna be making the soundtrack to it. Do you see yourself on the wrecking with uh, nah, I'm, I'm getting into promotion right now, but when I do start a record label, it's going to be Def Rock Limit. Come fuck with us. <laughs> yeah, I get it. When I start, when I start me and you feel me, record label, it's going to be Stunner Boy Entertainment, you know? Or Big Faces Entertainment, depends. We'll, we'll see five years from now, you know? Okay. We'll see. Okay, so what do you guys individually think about the Detroit scene right now? As far as music? Yeah, what do you think? I think all Detroit music sound the same. Yeah, That's why I like him. Because he, he don't even sound like yeah. himself on every song, let alone on everybody yeah. else. You gotta be able to At the same time, that sounding sound the same is giving us a signature for people in other places like Oakland to recognize. And they looking for that, that signature. They looking for that sound. Yeah. Just how people used to look to Miami for that certain bass. They looking, they looking to us to hear that, that high pitch shit. That fast paced, chopped up hi hats and uh, niggas spitting that I kill you in front of your mama shit. Okay. They're looking for it. That's so what we you, got. You feel like different sounds separate you guys from everybody else? Yep. That's why we champions. Because everybody else going it's like who sound the best out of them. We're right. going to be standing like the Instead, of, whole instead of trying to come with their own shit, they trying to sound like the next man. Mm -hmm. That sound good. You know, like be genuine, be yourself. You know, like, come with them from with it, you know, like, come from with them with it. You gotta, gotta be yourself on there. Like, you can't be nobody else. Yeah. It's not, not If you possible. think about it, we really just started getting producers coming out of Detroit. Our first hit artists like uh, Street Lords and Cheddar Boys, like, the Cheddar Boys uh, had hella. That was one of the first, you know what I'm saying? That was in the 2000s. All through the 90s, we was using samples. Gated up, you know what I'm saying? Um, Rock Bottom, we used to sample, uh, Street Lords used to sample. So it's really producers just now busting out their shit. But guess what though? Yeah. A lot of people sound the same. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we like to say we champions, because we're going to stand out because of our different, you know. Sound like every beat sound different. You can tell a different story. You don't have to keep shooting niggas in front of their mama on every song, because the, the beat's going to switch up. All right. Okay. So, how do you guys feel that, what is the difference between your music in the past and your music now? What did you do? Did you guys change it? Do you feel like you changed it? Like I can answer that question for him. <laughs> I've seen him work, I've seen him work specifically one year on bass lines. The next year, hi-hats. The next year, horns. I've seen him 
train his game the same way LeBron did when he came Drums, to the NBA. You know, like just focus, so that now on one area you're trying to perfect everything you know? that he touched, he ain't just playing with it. He can really make a rhythm out of it because he didn't went through that whole section and perfected. So he could, yeah, and he, I mean, that, that's why he's so quick now. He cooked it up like eggs. He, he already know what he looked like. beats, 1,500 beats, you can't, you can't, like, can't go wrong. You can't as make, far as me, you, you can't make 1,500 beats in a row, you know. As far as me, the we difference beats in a row. In you know, my like, shit. You gotta have something in there that's gold, you know. Like, 1,000 beats, you gotta have gold in there. 500 tracks I recorded on, I gotta have gold. Like, I'm over 500 now, I was 500 at 500 like two years ago. Mm -hmm. As far as me, with, with my dad, with the reason I signed, the uh, reason I'm, well, I want to say this is because it's important. It, yeah, I'm conscious that I'm off. I know I cuss a lot, smoke weed, but I'm smart. I know exactly what's going on. I know my history, and that's why I call myself a scholar. And the reason I'm using this music platform is to make people listen to me, because I know exactly what's going on. And you'll hear it in my music, you'll hear it in the interview. You know what I'm saying? You'll hear it in the interview. Like right now, I'll tell you, the government killed King. That was proven in 1999 in the Supreme Court. You just never heard about it. But you could Google it right now. After that, Nixon got in office and took President Johnson's place. You can Google that and see what Nixon did to destroy the whole black community. And you'll see that they're doing the same thing today. Just look at your history. Or be lazy and I'll tell you your history. But just, you got to tune in though. Okay, so is there anybody that you guys like to collab with or who you collaborate with now that you're doing? Oh, I collab with everybody. Anybody that want to mess with me. Yeah, I show, I show love. Anybody I, I, in Pacific you want to beef. With? I don't beef with people. That's one thing. Like, yeah, I, I, not, not even, you know, major people. I, I mess with my local people. I mess with my whole team, you know. I fuck with anybody willing to fuck with me. You know, that's just, because I don't, you know, I don't, I don't do the drama. Matter of fact. I don't do the drama. If you if you make a music and you're not shooting everybody in front of their mama and you get a video done by DODBH, we'll sponsor your beat. I like this. But it gotta be some music, you know what I'm saying? Some good music. But you'll hear his beats, you'll be like, yeah, we see what he was talking about. You see, I can talk all this, but I'm telling you right now, I'll sponsor you of your first beat. If your if your content is good. You know what I'm saying? And, and if you snap it. And if you, you got to get a video from DODBH, though. And the beat come with it. Courtesy of my man, Big Faces. Courtesy of my man, Joe the Scholar. <laughs> yeah. Stunner Ball and, well, it's not in stores, but it's free on YouTube right now. <laughs> <laughs> Better go get it for a new customer. You know where they still in music anyway, nowadays. Yeah, that's why we just going to throw you this shit. They still everything nowadays. We're just going to throw you this because you're going to love what we're cooking right now. As we speak. Okay, you guys got. Do you have a new mixtape coming out, or do you guys have any shows coming up? No, the uh, I got Joe the Scholar. That's on YouTube too. Go to Joe the Scholar. Check out my videos. Check out my um my whole album for free. You know, check me out. Then uh, he about to drop that Stunner Wall Volume One, Volume Two, maybe be Volume Three. You know, maybe that's definitely all on YouTube. What about your performances? You guys have any shows? Yeah, we be doing shows at the Bullfrog. You know, oh, okay. we post our performances on our Instagram. So if you go to uh, Joe the Scholar on Instagram, follow me. I follow you back. And check all that out. Yeah, we, he, he he be tearing the stage up. I usually just play the hype man. You know what I'm saying? I'm the tall nigga in the back. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, up and coming. I'll be fresh though. You guys, before we get out of here, we're about to make a freestyle, throwing a beat in, but they show the talents. Back to the block with it, uh, deuce deuce in the 
sock with it. Got the 40 on me, never leave the crib without it. Niggas talking all funny shit, I really got it. Uh, gotta check. SOB chance. Alright, block 101, baby. You already know what it is.